We've been talking a lot about hash-based data structures lately, mostly because I did a video that talked about hash functions and it reminded me how many cool things you can do with them. One thing I thought I'd cover real quick is just the workhorse hash table. Like in a Python dict or a PHP associative array, a hash table is a data structure for mapping keys to values. You take a big array, run a hash function on the key, then mod the result by the length of the array and put a pointer to the value there. Okay, it's not quite that simple. With a 100 element array, the chance of a collision approaches 1 as we approach 100 elements in our hash table. How do we handle a collision? The traditional way to deal with this is to treat each element of the array as the root of a linked list. When we search for items, we first hash it, then search for it in the linked list. It's not the only way, though. Some hash tables root a totally different data structure at every element of the hash table. Some hash tables just skip forward in the array until they find an empty space. What happens when the hash table fills up? Well, the performance starts to degrade, as collisions go from rare occurrences to the most common case. Many hash tables faced with this situation recreate the table with a new bigger array, and rehash every item in the original table to a new location in the new array. Thanks for watching.